This is the second part of our um, gallery tutorial, image gallery tutorial, and we were in the IMG layer in the first frame. And what we need to do now is import a picture. So by hitting Command R, we can import picture. Let's choose a picture, import it, and let's dimension this picture. Uh, make sure the constraint proportion is activated and let's 850 now our picture is smaller let's align it to stage center center okay now we can go ahead and delete these two layers let's select the image f8 make a movie clip img underscore fade Let's go inside the fade, select the first keyframe, hold on option, and go on the frame number 20. Let's create a motion twin, right click motion twin. Let's go on the first, select picture. And as you can see in the properties, you can choose color um, options. Let's choose alpha on zero, so whenever loads it's gonna fade uh, let's go on the keyframe number 20 window and action because we have to place a stop otherwise the picture can keep like fading and fading and fading okay let's go on scene one and now what we need to do it's a place a preloader if you go on my youtube page you can see there is a preloader tutorial so you can just grab that by selecting all the frames right click copy frames go on one.fla make a new layer move it down and paste the frame now we have on the same frame picture and preloader so we need just to grab this frame and put it on number three as you can see in the action of the preloader, we have go to and stop number three. All right, so this is basically ready. Let's hit command return and then view, simulate, download. You can see that loads up. There we go, the picture. Okay. Now, what we need to do is go in File, Publish, Setting, make sure the format is only Flash, and in Flash, make sure that the quality is 100% and protect from import, and let's publish it. Okay, let's save it again. And now, if we go in our folder, we're gonna have in IMG, we're gonna have one dot SWF. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, duplicate one, duplicate and call it two, three, and do the other pictures. And I'm gonna pause the, the video. Okay, now as you can see, I have all my four SWF in the folder IMG. Now we are good to go back into the gallery file and remember window actions remember what we did img1 img2 img3 img4 uh, in this case we don't need an unload movie because being on the same level loaded on the same level flash knows that has to unload what's on that level and load the next one so whenever IMG1, IMG2 is loading, IMG1 is gonna unload. Okay, pretty much that's it. Let's test the movie by hitting command return and let's view, let's simulate download. As you can see, without pressing anything, goes up and we got all the images. First image next second image this 
pretty big image, third image. And fourth image. There we go. See, as you can understand, this is a really nice method to use if you have a lot of big images to load in a website and you don't want people, the user, uh, waiting a lot of time. You just can load these two buttons and then your images. Thank you so much for following me in this tutorial and I really hope that I can help you in some of your project. Bye.